In this video, I'm going to write a C program that computes the average of the numbers in a file. So here I have a test file with five numbers in it. And to compute the average of those numbers, I'm going to have to first open up the file, then read in each line of the file, and convert the number at that line to a double type. I'll have to sum those values together, and then divide them by the total number of numbers in the file to get the average. So the first thing I'm going to need is a file handle variable. I'll say here file star fh. And the file handle is going to allow us to actually access the file and read in the different lines. And to get the file handle, we're going to have to use fopen. So I'll say here fh is equal to fopen file.txt and then r. So fopen is the function that opens the file and it returns a file handle that allows us to access the file. The first argument here, file.txt, is the name of the file to open. And R is the mode with which to open the file. In this case, R means read mode. So we're going to open the file for reading. Now, if fopen ever can't open the file, maybe because the file doesn't exist, or because the file name here is incorrect, it's going to return null. So the first thing we're going to want to do is actually check to see if fh is equal to null. Because if it is equal to null, there was a problem opening the file. And we don't want to proceed at that point because we can't work with a file that we haven't opened successfully. So we'll say here, if fh is equal to null, printf, error, opening file. And then we're going to return 1 to terminate the program. So this will notify the user that something has gone wrong. And we return 1, it's going to terminate the program. We're going to return 1 instead of 0 because when we return 0, that actually signifies to the shell here that the program exited OK. If we return 1, that's going to signal to the terminal here, to the shell, that something's gone wrong. So if we've actually opened the file successfully, what we're going to want to do is read in each line of the file. To do that, we're going to have to store that line into a character array. And we're going to call that character array a buffer because that's the common terminology to use in situations like this. We'll say car buffer. And we're going to define the size of that buffer with a constant. We'll say number define B size 1024. And that's going to be our buffer size. So that means that we could store a line up to 1024 characters long. And that's plenty of space. So we're going to actually use this buffer to store in each actual line we read in. We're going to have to convert it to a double representation, though, if we want to compute the average. So first, let's actually read in the content, though, one line at a time. So we'll say here, while f gets buffer, b size, and fh. So f gets is a function that's going to read from the file with this file handle here into the character array here. So we're going to store from this file into the buffer the next line of the file one at a time, each time f gets is called. And b size is basically the limit here, saying that the buffer can store up to this amount. Now eventually, f gets is not going to be able to read in another line, because we'll have reached the end of the file. We'll have read the last line in already. At that point, f gets is going to return null. But up until f gets returns null, we're going to want to continue to read in the next line of the file. So we're going to say here, while f gets doesn't equal null, continue. So this loop is going to stop when f gets eventually returns null when we reach the end of the file. So the next thing we're going to want to do is take that string representation of the number and convert it to a double. So that way we can actually add it to a sum and compute the average. So to do that, I'm going to actually have to include the stdlib.h library because that includes a function called ATOF. And that function allows us to take a string and convert it to a double value. We're also going to need some variables to help us too. I'm going to say here double average to store the average we're going to compute. And I'll say sum. And I'm actually going to set sum to zero. Then I'm going to have the total number of numbers that we've read in from this file here. And initially, we'll set that to zero. So now what I'm going to do here is each time in the body of this while loop, I'm going to convert the number in the buffer 
to a double type and I'm gonna add it to the sum. So I'll say sum plus equals ATOF and then buffer. So the way the function works is it accepts a string as an argument and then it returns the double type representation of the number in that string. And we're gonna take that double type representation of the number and add it to sum here. So this is gonna to sum together all the numbers. Then I'll say here, total plus plus. So we're gonna increment the total number of numbers that we've read in so far. So then the last thing to do is compute the average because by the end of this loop here, we'll have summed all the numbers and we'll have computed the total number of numbers. So I'm gonna say average is equal to sum divided by total. And then we'll print out the average. We'll say printf average percent dot two f new line and we'll put the average here and i put the dot two here just so we output the number with two decimal digits of precision so it'll look a bit nicer so we'll save that we'll do a compilation here and then we'll run it and we get an average of 46.39 which is correct and so we've created a program in c which will compute the average of the numbers in a file Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.